The sports world mourning the loss of a West Coast basketball legend. Bill Walton has died at the age of 71. Vern Glenn joining us now. Vern, you can't overstate Walton's impact on the game of basketball in the Pac-12 and anything, though, it was, it was just the joy he brought to fans and people watching him on, on television, right? Always soaked up the moment. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Now, the younger demographic know him as this tie-dyed, clothed, zany basketball commentator. But Walton, true, he was one of a kind, but I have never met a more kind-hearted basketball icon. Walton passed away at the age of 71 after a battle with cancer. He's regarded as one of the greatest players in college basketball history, winning two national titles at UCLA, battled injuries throughout his NBA career, but still won two championships and an MVP. He was inducted to the Basketball Hall of Fame in 1993. In his later years, he was the colorful analyst for his beloved Conference of Champions, the Pac-12. One of his broadcast partners, Roxy Bernstein, says Bill was a friend to him and everyone he met. He would stay after every game. There'd be a long line of people out the door to get his autograph, to take a picture with him. He stayed until every person was taken care of. Nobody left without getting a part of Bill Walton. I've seen him give his phone number out to just random strange people. They had basketball questions that they wanted to ask the kids about how they could improve their basketball game. Send me an email. That's how Bill was. He was so welcoming to everybody and celebrated life like no other person I've ever seen. Roxy's right. Legendary player in high school, college at UCLA, three-time player of the year, NBA champion. And for the younger demographic and the NBA fan, he was Nikola Jokic mm. before Jokic. And he missed over 750 games because of injuries to his feet and his ankles. And he would often say, or would text, thank you for my life, shine on, peace, and love. Yeah, he was definitely one of a kind, and you're right. A lot of people who are younger only know him as this broadcaster right. and this bigger than life kind of personality. But when he was a player, I mean, he dominated the game. And if his body could have withheld, the injuries just, just broke him down. Yeah, just just dominant, just agile athlete, just was he, he could take over when he was right. All right, thanks, Vern.